What's going on, Giants fans? Back at it with our final New York Giants film review of the season. Going to break down some of Big Blue's top plays in the divisional round loss to the Philadelphia Eagles. Getting this one out a little bit late. Apologies for that. Um, Had a hectic week, and we're going to uh, obviously have our live stream today. So, you know, that's been going on. But first, if you're new, make sure to check us out on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue. Friendly neighborhood reminder, this episode is presented by BetUS. That is our lovely sponsor. You can sign up with our promo code below if you like the sports bet at join125. Once again, that is join125. Get a 125% sign-up bonus where you can bet on the go anywhere, anytime. That's BetUS, America's number one favorite sports book where the game begins. And you can bet on those conference championship games this weekend. Um, Unfortunately, the Giants won't be participating in that, but they made it to the divisional round, which is a very uh, impressive feat for a team that was rebuilding this season. Now, there's three plays in particular in this game that really stood out to me. Unfortunately, all three of them came too late against the Philadelphia Eagles. The first play, uh, obviously, we'll break this one down after playing it through the first time. Uh, This is the long 39-yard Saquon Barkley run. That happened early on in the second half against Philadelphia. So I'll share my screen here. All right, here we go. Okay, so get the formation here. They're loading trips to the left. They have Bellinger, the tight end, lined up to the right, right? So, okay. Eagles are only playing two down linemen, right? Um, And then they're kind of stacking the right side. They're expecting the Giants to probably run a shotgun draw here with all the guys in the box. The problem is they're, they're trying to communicate and figure out where the Giants are attacking. This is a third and two play, and they're just inside the red zone here. So first off, the handoff by Jones is great. Now immediately, Glowinski and Neal combo block there. This, These both defenders realistically are sticking out here because this one's blitzing. So one of them is going to take Bellinger if he goes out on a route, and you have to respect the mobility of Daniel Jones running the football. So this defender is staying true in case Jones runs. So this is good design by the Eagles to stop Daniel Jones, but not Saquon Barkley. As you can see, Feliciano and Gates do a good job clearing the path. Saquon zips through. He's super quick. And again, you can see number 57, TJ Edwards guesses the wrong hole. Barkley takes off. He's in a foot race with Epps and Bradbury. And 39-yard run. Beautiful run. Unfortunately, Barkley only carried the ball nine times in the Philadelphia game. But let's go on to our second play. This also involved Saquon Barkley, not directly, but uh, it it was a very fun play to watch. It was the Giants' only touchdown of the game. So we'll run it through once, and then we will break it down like we always do. Apologies, my uh, Internet's running a little slow today. So, all right, Eagles once again. Only one down lineman here. It's Hodgins and Slayton, the two receivers in the game. They have Bellinger. They have Brita, who's running across the formation. Pistol set with Barkley behind Jones. Now, Brita runs. He goes back. Jones runs out. Barkley's now the quarterback. So once Jones runs out, I want you to watch the eyes of safety number 32, Reed Blankenship. Look at the defense move this way. Because they're expecting, oh, Saquon may fake it to Brita, and Saquon may take it himself. So the edge here by Hassan Reddick, they have to watch it. And it was a good play call designed by Kafka because if Saquon keeps the ball, he's stuffed. Jones running out. Again. You get a little swing here from Andrew. Andrew Thomas and Nick Gates are both, or Ben Bredesen, that might be there. They're both running left. So Feliciano has to seal number 93. 
and he gets just enough of him so that Brita can get around. It fools the cameraman out and Brita the score for the touchdown. And again, you'll see this play close up one more time. Good block there by Feliciano. And Brita does the rest. Brita is lightning quick. That's one of his best qualities. And one more time, let's watch the right side of the line. Evan Neal and Mark Lewinsky, right? So, again, they're also pushing towards the middle. So, realistically speaking, Brita has to be quick here because Slayton and Bellinger have two important blocks to make. Luckily for him, they make their blocks and he cruises into the end zone. All right. Final play here. This is the Xavier McKinney strip sack. Uh, this is on the ensuing possession in the middle of the third quarter. Uh, Eagles are in a bunch formation here. Um, we'll show it to you once and then we'll break it down. All right. A lot of things go wrong on this play for Philadelphia. First and foremost, you see Jalen Smith calling a uh, defensive audible here. They're clearly disguising something. Jack Stoll's in the game along with Grant Calcaterra and Dallas Goddard. Goddard's lined up over here. So the two blocking tight ends are over here in Stoll and Calcaterra, right? So they're watching out for Kayvon Thibodeau. They're watching out for a, potent, a potential blitzer along this side of the football field. And Devontae Smith is lined up as the lone receiver. Hertz is back there with Jalen Smith. Giants have Ryder Anderson, Dexter Lawrence, and I believe this is Leonard Williams. So watch what happens. Jihad Ward does a really good job. So the, the Eagles, I'm not exactly sure what's happening on this play because Samalu's playing right guard, and he's going to pull left. So they're expecting pressure. But when Samalu pulls left, one of these tight ends has to help pick up the middle, and then Jack Stoll does not do his job. Stoll is too slow to get out to Xavier McKinney. And also on the other side of the field, the push by Ryder Anderson here, along with Dexter Lawrence, it allows Jihad Ward to get by Samalu or get into the face of Samalu, at least. Because right now, Hertz is not looking at much. He steps up. He's running into Kayvon Thibodeau, who's cutting in right now. Leonard Williams occupying two guys. So, again, this is a job well done. You have Jared Davis spying the QB. Jalen Smith running with, uh, I believe that's Calcaterra, just in case. And Jack Stoll just absolutely whiffed. McKinney strips the football. Philadelphia, very fortunate to recover that fumble. So, Ladies and gentlemen, that is the final film room of the 2022 New York football Giants season. We appreciate everybody for watching this season. Stay tuned for more off-season content. I'll have um, an update soon on some maybe new coaching changes for the Giants. Um, you know, We'll see if there's anything newsworthy over the next couple of weeks. But if not, as always, appreciate you all. Make sure to go check us out on our social media. Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue. And folks, without further ado, let's go Big Blue.